Hey guys, my name is Angie, AKA The Lovely Escapist, and today I'm gonna show you how to edit and enhance guys using Lightroom, no Photoshop necessary. Hope you enjoy. This is a photo taken in the Dominican Republic, and as you can see from the original raw image, it was a beautiful sunset. There just wasn't as much color and cotton candy sky that I was looking for. So to get this look, I use this tool right here, which is called the graduated filter. So here are the edits that I had made with this tool. And as you can see, before I made those edits, the sky, uh, even after I had edited the entire image was just a little blown out. It didn't have very much color. So if you want to enhance the sky, you're gonna click on the icon, hold the left mouse button down and drag it to where you'd like your edits to be and it'll be, for me, at least horizontally and about midway through the photo. And um, you have these little sliders that you can adjust specifically for this area. So uh, anything above this line is edited now. I wanted more cotton candy skies and warmer colors so I increased the temperature I increase the tint and then I mean from there I just lowered the exposure a little bit and already you can see a difference and I lowered the highlights all the way so I could have more detail and uh, increase the shadows because this portion was a little bit dark and also increase saturation and that's how I did it. The other awesome thing that you can use for the graduated filter is you can do it to enhance really anything in your photo. So for example, I also used it to work on this lower half because it was just really, I don't know, didn't have much color, it wasn't very dramatic. So how did I get this look? You're gonna push this icon, drag the mouse down, but instead of keeping it like this, you're gonna flip it and come back down so all the edits now are on this portion instead of the top. Once you've done that, uh, all you have to do is make the adjustments, which I didn't really want to do much, just lower the exposure a tiny bit, lower the highlights, and then increase the saturation so the water and the colors reflecting off it are just a little bit brighter. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe or you can check out some other tutorials and videos right here.